Mark Zalz here. Today we're going to talk about the essential fundamentals of trumpet playing in building range. And before we get started, I want to thank all of you for first watching this video and for all of those who subscribed to my video, I appreciate that very much. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, um, there's a subscribe button at the end of this video that you can hit and you can uh, see all the different YouTube videos that we have. Some of them are uh, just demonstrations and some are um, educational in nature like this one. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first, we're going to start out uh, with the breath, and we're going to touch on this briefly because I've uh, mentioned this in some of the other videos, and if, for those of you who have not seen those videos, I'm going to touch on this so we can uh, put all this together and it will make sense. And then we're going to get into a range um, building exercise in a few minutes uh, from now. Okay, so the first aspects of breathing, of course, is imagining somebody's pulling up you up by a string, and you're taking a deep breath with like two fingers in between your mouth, in, in between your teeth. So what I'm concentrating on is steady air. I'm trying to get the most steady air that I can uh, through the horn and I'm also trying to be as relaxed as I can and keep the shoulders down. So the range building exercise would start out like this. First you'd play a low C for 15 seconds, as soft as you can with as steady air as you possibly can. Then you'd rest for five seconds, and then you would play a low G, low A, low B, low C. Uh, so let's just do that part so far. So I'm going to hold out a, G, a low C for about five seconds, and I'm not going to do it the full 15 so to save time. So I'm going to play that low C for 15 seconds, as soft as I can with as steady air as I possibly can, and as relaxed as I can. All right? I'm going to rest for five seconds, and then I'm going to play the G, A, B, C. as soft as I can on the on those notes. Then I'm going to rest five seconds and then I'm going to play um, G, B, I'm sorry, G, A, B, C in the staff. And that feels about as relaxed as I can get. I'm focusing on steady air and uh, trying to keep that as uh, even as I can. Rest five seconds, play the low C again. And I'm going to try to get as steady air as I can. And again, I'm not striving for perfection, I'm just trying to get it as steady as I can and as relaxed as I can. I'm going to hold that out for 15 seconds, then go back to uh, up, up an octave, G, A, B, C, same thing I did a second ago, but up an octave. Okay, then I'm going to rest five seconds and go back and play a low C for 15 seconds as soft as I can. hold that out for 15 seconds, just holding it out for five, save time. Next thing I would do, rest five seconds, play the G, A, B, C below the staff again. 
We're always going to play that same pattern. <laughs> seconds, low C. Again, you'd hold that out for 15 seconds. Next, next thing I'm going to do is play A flat, B flat, C, uh, D flat. Uh, I'm going to play what I just did, but up half step. So you're probably catching on now. We're going to do this exercise in half steps as high as we can get and still be relaxed. Back to the low C after we rest five seconds. Okay, hold it out for 15 seconds. Again, I'm only doing a short time, save time. Then we do up an octave. Five seconds. Okay, then we're going to go play the low G, A, B, C again. five seconds, low C for 15 seconds, then we're going to rest five seconds, and then we're going to play A, B, C sharp, D in the staff, then we're going to rest five seconds, play a low C again, then play A, B, C sharp, D up an octave, rest five seconds, play a low C again for 15 seconds, then the next section would be just doing what we've been doing in this pattern, but going up chromatically. We're going to stay in the key that we start on. So if we start on a, D, a B flat, we're going to play in the key of B flat. So it would be B flat, C, D, E flat, F. Thank you again for watching this video, and I do appreciate it. For more information about the range building exercise, feel free to visit my blog at markshouse.net. Also, feel free to subscribe on the subscribe button at the end of this if you want to subscribe to my channel for more information. Um, through my website, you can also sign up for online lessons uh, via Skype if you wish as well for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Well, I hope this information was helpful and I do appreciate it.